post-operative infection after total hip replacement is the saddest of all complications. It's sad because it seriously limits the success of any subsequent operation undertaken to revise a poor result following a first intervention. So said Sir John Charnley, the world-renowned orthopaedic surgeon and architect of total hip arthroplasty, in a lecture to the St. Louis Hip Society in 1982. Sir John recognized the importance of providing an aeromicrobiologically clean zone during surgery to avoid wound sepsis from airborne contamination, as he himself explains. In a standard surgical operating room, organisms on the floor and those emitted from the surgical team and the patient are circulated over the wound by conventional air conditioning. In 1962, the first sterile air system was donated by Howarth to Wrightington Hospital. This provided a sterile downward flow of air over the operating team and the patient. As Sir John said, the first enclosure was installed here at the Wrightington Hospital in England. It had an immediate and dramatic effect. Infection rates plummeted. Charnley's research into airborne infection extended to a detailed investigation of how warm contaminated air escapes from clothing. From the boots, the bottom of the gown, and around the collar. This led to the introduction of the Charnley body exhaust system, which further reduced infection by effectively removing contamination by the body emissions of the surgical team. Charnley and Howarth jointly developed the patented exponential flow system for operating theatres. Put simply, clean air enters the theatre from above, moving faster in the central area and slower towards the edge. The effect of this exponential profile of air is to form a trumpet-shaped flow which crosses the patient, moves towards the surgeon and then back up to ceiling vents to be captured, filtered and recirculated. Shown diagrammatically, the process looks like this. As you can see, the patient is free from potential infection by entrained contaminated air. All other systems are vulnerable to turbulence and peripheral entrainment. For example, a uniform downward flow of filtered air draws in contaminated air at an angle of about 12 degrees from the vertical, reducing the effective clean zone area by about 25%. A uniform downward flow exiting from the side of the theatre draws contaminated air across the surgeon and then the patient. The jet-assisted system directs high-velocity air at the patient but creates turbulence which entrains contaminated air. A horizontal flow of air limits the surgical team to being downwind of the patient, severely restricting their room for manoeuvre. It's also particularly vulnerable to convection upcurrents. Only the Howarth X-Flow system ensures that the surgical team is always downwind of the patient, allowing complete freedom of movement around the operating table without the need for restrictive side walls. The Wrightington Hospital has made good use of its Howarth UltraClean air systems. Since the first one was installed, more than 27,000 joint replacement operations have taken place. Professor Mike Robleski has continued in the tradition of Sir John Charnley at the Wrightington. And I asked him to explain the importance to him of ultra-clean air. Until the introduction of clean air system, the infection rate was between 7 and 8 percent. It was obviously not possible to continue with implant surgery at that infection rate. The figures collected were from vast number of operations. The study was very well documented. The infection here at Wrightington Hospital, as I said, was reduced from between 7 and 8 percent to below 1 percent with the introduction of the clean air system total body exosuits. Independent studies by Lidwell, published as far back as 1982 in the British Medical Journal, looking at large number of prospective randomized operations, have confirmed those findings. One of the main sources of air contamination is the surgeon and the operating team. It is therefore essential that total body exosuits be provided not only for the surgeon but also for the operating team. 
It is using that system that we are doing our best to exclude every possible source of air contamination in clean air system. Our statistics concerning deep infection have been very carefully collected over a number of years. Reviewing the results of over 27,000 Charlie Low Friction Arthroplasties, deep infection in primary surgery in osteoarthritis stands at 0.3%. So the benefits of an ultra-clean air system are clear. But what, I asked Professor Ravleski, about the costs? It must be remembered that one revision operation, especially for infection, will cost anything as much as four times more than primary operation. It is therefore very easy to see how a small number of infections that can be prevented will not only pay for the cost of the initial installation of the clean air system, but it will also be investment for the future. And does it increase the theatre's efficiency? I think the answer is relatively simple. With ultra clean air enclosure, you are providing an isolated area of clean air. And that area can be used very quickly and very efficiently for a number of operations without having to clean, wash down and scrub up the operating room after every operation. So an ultra-clean air system not only reduces the risk of infection but also increases the theatre's productivity. But are some systems better than others? Of the various clean air systems, we must consider First of all, the horizontal airflow, which has been shown uh, repeatedly to be not only of little value, but also potentially very dangerous. Contamination of the wound, especially in knee surgery, has been shown to be very high. And as such, we can really dismiss the horizontal airflow unless we're looking at some special isolated situations. Of the downflow air systems, which are by far the best, if you can have downward airflow which is contained by a rigid enclosure, then it is reasonable. It is also ideal for any visitors, spectators, for teaching purposes. It is constraining. The Haworth X-Flow system is not only the system that provides clean air, but also provides the unique downward and exponential flow of that clean air that prevents peripheral contamination without the need for rigid walls to be added to the theatre. I asked Professor Robleski how he would sum up the benefits of installing a Haworth X-Flow system. The cost of management and revision surgery of one infected total joint arthroplasty is so high that using the X-Flow system, if we can avoid only a small number of infections, the return of the investment is not only quick, but we are now left with a good investment in the operating theatre, which is the X-Flow system. So the benefits are clear. Ultra-clean air systems make sense financially to the hospital. They make sense too in care for the patient. Only the Haworth X-Flow has the patented exponential flow system which prevents the entrainment and ingress of contaminated air across the patient. No other system offers such performance whilst allowing the surgeon complete freedom of movement. That explains why the Haworth X-Flow is the world's favourite UCV system, installed in over 750 operating theatres in 30 countries worldwide. And with turnkey single source responsibility, after sales service and finance packages available, it's never been easier to install the best. A last word from Professor Ravleski. Infection in soft tissue surgery is not a big problem. Infection in bone surgery 
bone and joint surgery, infection in implant surgery is a disaster. Because if infection supervenes, then the object of the operation is completely and totally defeated, very often with disastrous results. I consider it absolutely essential to perform implant surgery in clean air system.